right. Um, welcome to the second review of the evening. Up this time, it's a game called Radio Squid. Um, Beyond the Squid has been cursed. Now it's up to you to lift the curse by reaching the depths of the sea, um, where there are plenty of coins at the end. Explore the deep uh, sea floors while taking care of your enemies by utilizing the power of the siren song. Shoot your enemies with projectiles to the beat of the music. Watch out not to get hit by your own shot. For extra challenge, try to bounce your shots off the wall in order to hit your enemy. So that's the basic premise. Um, this game is being played, and we were given the PlayStation 4 version, so it's off to Petty Fan for the review of Radio Squid. And he's got thoughts on this. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm not impressed with this game. Okay. Like, the Basically, the whole aim mechanic... I think it wants to use the D-pad, but instead it's mapped to the right stick. I got a game uh, next week that I'm going to be complaining about for this exact same reason. Yeah, they, they want digital, but it's analog, and the corners are dead zones, so... Yeah. Yeah, internal screaming abound. Mm -hmm. And then just, you don't stop shooting. And you can hurt yourself with your own bullets. So if you, you know, miscount on hit, hitting the enemies, bullets can bounce back at you and hurt you. Yep. Also, if you can see on the stream the um, shoot, where it has the shoot style thing, they have the stick labels, or where they should be in reverse. They have the left stick for shot direction or the right stick on the for shoot direction on the left, and the movement on the left stick on the right of the screen. And oh god, that confused the hell out of me. That sounds confusing. I uh, yeah. And then yeah, there's there's a whole story here. Well, you're a squid with a curse. Yep. Come on. Um, so, what's the curse? Ah, uh, basically, it's the I forget exactly how you get it, but basically, it's whenever you hit one of the things to start the level, you get um, uh, you're constantly spewing out bullets. That's what I was thinking of. It's a hell of a curse. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, so the creators of this game are very clear fans of Downwell. <laughs> um, maybe not so much in design, but certainly in aesthetics. Like, it's just, you know, Downwell is a pretty magnificent game. Mm hmm. I actually don't think I've heard of Downwell. It's that one game where your only action is to jump and shoot downward. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. And your goal is to go down. Yeah. And you're jumping down a well. Like, it, it, the name is actually kind of literal. Um, but that is not this game. Though this game is definitely what it purports to be. You are a squid... And the radio part has to do with rhythm beats. Mm -hmm. I wasn't paying attention as closely if the shots are based on rhythm as well in this. Uh huh. But they seem to come at a steady rate, so it might be. Well, yeah, like, wouldn't surprise me if something here, if not rhythm, then movement. Uh, you know, typically when music's this emphasized, it's. You know, that kind of gameplay mechanic. Mm hmm And, you know, it's a whole lot of bleep bloopy music. Chip tunes. Mm hmm Yeah, that's what I would have expected uh, from something that looks like this. Yeah, and this is where you get the curse put on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, with the beat of each note, you fire. That's about what, once again, that was about what I expected. Yeah, and then... 
and there's apparently a um fire mode that is just called chaos which you don't get to guide the shots at all and whoever would play on that mode is a masochist I'm like that sounds advanced yeah. it also sounds insane but yes mm. and there isn't really like that big of a penalty for death per se like it just costs you some coins very shovel knight style Right. So that's at least one decent thing. And yeah, I don't know if it's... If the levels are, you know, you survive... Song of in there, I already died. <laughs> Three minutes in. <laughs> You're not good at this. No, no, I am not. And yeah, so I guess any questions okay. before we get into pricing and whatnot? Uh, not really. Um, though, in terms of pricing, uh, try to guess how much this costs. Dollar. No. Five five ninety nine. Four ninety nine. A.K.A. your standard Red Alikia Games pricing. And yes, it's uh, the same throughout all the platforms. Uh, looks like this is one of the games that they had a hand in developing, um, because what usually gives that away is the lack of a Steam version. Not all the time, but this is not something that they ported over. Um, and we, we have reviewed, uh, other monochrome games from the, that outfit, like, uh, zero, 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 zero comes to mind. Um, now, it's just a bit of a shame that this game didn't line up. Mm hmm Yeah. You know. Like, I don't mind a twin-stick shooter where the bullet shoot on beat, but the fact that you don't have that well control, it's, you know, constrained to the four cardinal directions, and your bullets right. can bounce back and hurt you, that's the thing that I don't really like about it, you know? No, no, it's Forcing digital control on an on an analog stick is bad. <laughs> As I, um, the game I got for next week does this. Um, and the the reason it's bad is because uh, it's really hard to know exactly where the horizontal and vertical delimiters are on a joystick. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it, it results in less accurate uh, gameplay, like. Uh, and yeah, uh, I guess that's about it for Radio Squid here. Um, be sure to tune in after the break as the Galax will be reviewing Neighbors Back from Hell. 